Hey there, welcome to VTN's course on SOLIDWORKS eDrawings. On my screen you see a part. I've got two configurations for this part. Let's begin our course by showing you how to create an eDrawing document. We can do it in two different ways. Let's go to File, select Publish to eDrawings. SOLIDWORKS asks us which configurations we'll be publishing to the eDrawings file. I'm going to select all configurations and click OK. Now the eDrawing document opens. Here's a tab for our configurations. We can switch configurations right here with these bookmarks. Let's close the eDrawing document. Another way to create an eDrawing is to go to Save As. And from the Save As Type drop down menu, select eDrawing. Here we've got an option to create a password. SOLIDWORKS warns us that a lost password can't be recovered. So be careful setting that up. Let's cancel out of this dialog window. And let's click on the Options button. The first option we have is OK to measure this eDrawings file. So basically, if you check this option, your client or whoever's viewing the eDrawings document is able to measure the geometry in the eDrawings file. Allow export to STL for parts and assemblies. An STL document basically describes the surface data without the rest of the document data. Check here to save table features to the eDrawings file. This option has to do with the bill of materials. We've also got the option to save motion studies to the eDrawings file. Let's click OK. I'll accept the default name and click Save. Now we choose which configurations to save to the eDrawings file. I'll opt for all configurations and click OK. And our file is saved. Let's close this document. And now let's open the eDrawing document. Select it here and click Open. Let's click Open again. As you can see here, from this drop-down menu we can open a variety of file formats in eDrawings, including a SOLIDWORKS part document, an assembly file, and so on. Let's cancel out of the Open dialog window and get back to SOLIDWORKS. Now if you want to open a SOLIDWORKS document in eDrawings, there is a certain option you have to have checked. Let's go to the Options window, Document Properties, go to the Image Quality branch, and here under Options, you need to check Save Tessellation Data with the Part Document. So if you check this, SOLIDWORKS is going to save the display data in the Part file. At the part level, this option can be checked or unchecked. But when you're working at the assembly level, the tessellation data has to be saved with the assembly file. You're not able to uncheck this when you're working at the assembly level. So for the purposes of demonstration, I'll uncheck it and click OK. Now let's save our document. Let's go back to eDrawings. Click Open. And watch what happens now when we try to open the SOLIDWORKS part document. Select our file, click Open. SOLIDWORKS lets us know that the file contains no display data. Let's click OK. And let's go back to SOLIDWORKS and fix this problem. So Options, Document Properties tab, Image Quality Branch, and check Save Tessellation with Part Document. Click OK. Let's save the file again. And back to eDrawings, let's try to open the part file again. Select it, click Open. And now the file opens in read-only mode, of course. This concludes our first video about using eDrawings.